Hi everyone, it's Athena here. I hope you're all doing well during this crisis. Things are starting to ease up in some countries, but not in others. So I really, really hope you're hanging in there. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the warning signs that a narcissist is diminishing your sense of self and your inner child, if you may. And it is easy to spot this because they will start trying to control every aspect of your life. And this can happen if you are still living at home with your parents, um, even if you're an adult child and you still live under the same roof as your parents. They will have tried to infantilize you, which means they will have made you feel guilty and stopped you from going for a possible career that may be good for you or an exciting opportunity of some sort, whether that's a relationship or whether that's some form of education. They will make you feel guilty and say that you're there to look after them and that that is your role in the family or as a partner and that you're not allowed to go out and work, you're not allowed to have friendships, so they will try and isolate you. A narcissist will also want you to constantly please them, which means that you have no time left for yourself. You have no time left to enjoy your hobbies or the things that you um, like to do work-wise. And this in itself stops you from being who you truly are. This in itself stops you from being the person that you want to be, you will notice that you feel uncomfortable in your own skin because the narcissist in your life will probably be putting you down, will probably be making you feel bad about yourself, will be guilt tripping you. And these are all signs of emotional abuse. These are all signs that a narcissist is stopping you from being your true self, from having your true identity. They strip you of your true identity, sadly. So in a relationship, a narcissistic partner will constantly um, put you down. They may make you feel really bad about your body, that you're maybe not um, working out enough or that you're maybe not eating healthily enough. They will make you feel really small. And if you're dealing with narcissistic parents, well, they will constantly criticize your appearance or your abilities. And these things are all done because they are still trying to control you. A narcissistic parent will want you to do things their way. And that does not allow you to be the person that you truly are. Sometimes um, narcissists will not directly insult you or put you down, but they will imply that you're always going to fail. So just be aware of this negativity. Somebody who cares about you will truly support you, will encourage you to take a bigger step, to you know take that new job or to aspire to things that you are excited about that are um, opportunities for the future. They will not try and stop you from doing these things. They will not try and be negative um, or put down your accomplishments or try and actually um, instill fear in you. Because if you are constantly scaring somebody and telling them that, oh God, what if this happens if you do this? And what if that happens? Well, of course you're not gonna be confident. Of course you're not gonna wanna follow your dreams. Another thing that is worth keeping an eye on is that if the narcissist is constantly on your mind, if you feel that everything you're doing is focused on them, wondering what would they say, then that already shows that you're not able to be who you truly are. Narcissists strip you of your identity. So you just be aware of these points. Keep an open mind. Notice what is going on around you. Notice how you are feeling. Are you walking on eggshells? Are you worried about what they think a lot more than maybe you should? And sometimes notice how you are when you are on your own. Do you ever fully relax or is the narcissist constantly on your mind? Are you thinking of ways maybe that you can please them or maybe you spend your time relying on unhealthy coping skills um, like drinking alcohol or smoking weed or eating excessively? Just be aware of how you cope. If you are having to cope a lot of the time, then something's not right. You can't be in a relationship that feels that difficult, that feels like you need to put in that much effort all the time. You need to be able to be yourself. So that is the clearest sign. If you feel that you can't be yourself, if you don't know who you are anymore, if you don't know what it is you enjoy anymore and the other person in the relationship is the sole focus of your life, 
then something isn't right. So that is one of the clearest indications that you are involved with a toxic individual or a self-centered individual that needs constant attention, constant support, constant admiration, and that is in total control of you. Healing identity loss is an ongoing process, and this is something you will only achieve if you distance yourself from the narcissist. Therapy is very good for this. Uh, specialist coaching is very good for this. Having supportive people around you or other survivors of narcissistic abuse, people that know what it's like and have been through the process and have slowly found themselves, have slowly uh, discovered the gifts that they have, um, the abilities that they have, and have slowly regained confidence. These are the people that you want around you, people that are positive, people that are supportive and people who will allow you to be who you truly are. That is the end of the video today, guys. Thank you very much for watching and for listening. Take care wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.